So I recently got some tenants in my flat. Two guys, they got one room each. Stopped off there today and I did not like the condition of the flat. I told them already, no smoking inside the flat. And I'm gone in there and there's cigarette ash in the sink. So I pulled out now to have a word with them, yeah? Why is the carpet so filthy? Why is the carpet so dirty? It's, it's Was someone wearing trainers in there? No, man. You sure? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, obviously, the main, yeah, the main, yeah. the main issue is this. Yeah, obviously, you lot have cleaned it now, isn't it? Yeah. So who was smoking in there? Which one of you lot's friends was smoking in there? We, we both did and like we yes. had a friend over, he had some things going on. Yeah. So we told him don't do it, but he closed the door, he was doing it inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. So whoever you lot bring in the house, you're responsible for yeah, them. Yeah, you lot are grown up yeah, men, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you bring in someone and they cause damage, yeah, it's down to you, not I them. Know, yeah? know, Obviously, yeah. they're grown up men, but this is yeah. your house where you live, yeah? Take it, man. Alright, why was why why was that panel over there? Like, you know, like when we sit. Like, it keeps falling out, mate. Mm -hmm. I don't like if, if our like legs fell in, like it must keep falling out. So we like if we touch here, it's yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Like right. We step in there. Nah, uh, if we touch, our legs touch this the, side. The reason why I thought it was you that was smoking in here, because I didn't go in your room, yeah? Both of your room doors open. I didn't go in. Mm -hmm. I could see a cigarette box on the floor, mm -hmm. yeah? And obviously it was the same one as that. Now, I don't know if it was exactly the same, but what I'm saying is from there, it looked like it was the yeah, same yeah. one. Yeah. And then when I've gone in the, the kitchen, yeah. Yeah. I see, yeah, well, obviously you've cleaned it yeah. now, and then you've cleaned the bin, but that bin was filthy. Yeah, we know. The, the main issue was the, the, um, yeah. Yeah, the tobacco and... That looks like a cigarette burn mark on the toilet. Yeah. So you're not gonna have to buy me back a new toilet. I'll let you know how much it's gonna cost. But that looks like a cigarette burn mark. Well, I'm not gonna touch it. Can we clean it? I don't know, you can try. Yeah. But you see when you're in the flat, yeah? If you do any cleaning, mm -hmm. well, you're supposed to be cleaning the floor now and then, yeah? yeah? When you clean the floor, yeah, don't use any bleach products. Only use antibacterial. Do you know what the difference is? Okay. You know what bleach is, yeah? Yeah, the white powder. White nah, nah, nah. Oh, I took the bleach out. All right, all right. You see this, yeah? Right, I'm going to take this, yeah? Because mm -hmm. I don't want no bleach products in the house. Because if this goes on the carpet, it's going to damage the carpet. Okay. Now, if it's antibacterial, uh -huh. like, you see this is antibacterial, yeah? Okay, okay. That, you can use this to clean the floor? I mean, obviously, it's going to take a long time. It's better to use a, a, a bucket and a mop. Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 But don't buy any bleach. Okay. Because bleach is going to damage, if it goes near the carpet, it's going to damage the carpet. Whereas antibacterial, if it, that... It will be written bleach here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, we'll okay, say bleach. Okay. Yeah, it will say bleach. Okay. So only use, if you use a bucket and a mop, mm -hmm. obviously add water to the substance, yeah? Only use antibacterial, don't use bleach. Because if you if you, if it spills by accident, it's mm -hmm. going to damage the carpet. Okay. Whereas if it's antibacterial, it's not going to damage the carpet, okay. yeah? So I'm going to take we'll, this. We'll drive by in the same thing. So I'm back at my yard now. Fucking camera stopped recording. Obviously, I'm in there chatting to them. I ain't got time to be checking to see if the camera's still rolling and that. Yeah, I had to go down there and have a word with them. I turn up to the flat earlier when they're not there and I'm seeing cigarette ash in the sink. On Gumtree where I advertised the, the rooms, I said no smoking, no smokers. Now obviously a lot of people don't read. So when we were signing up the contracts, I said to them, do you lot smoke? And they said from time to time. I said, all right, well if you smoke, no smoking in the flat, not in your bedroom, Bust the window open and smoking outside the window. No, 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 no. No smoking whatsoever inside that flat. You need to go outside. So they say, yeah, 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 cool. Then I turn up there and I'm seeing cigarette ash in the sink. Now they're saying that it's their friend came over. I think they said, oh, they told him not to do it and he didn't listen to them. It don't matter. 
whether you bring into my flat, you're responsible for it, yeah? You lot are living in that house, you're responsible for whoever you bring in. If they damage something or whatever, you're responsible. Um, yeah, I phoned him up on the spot when I saw it. And they're like, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Gave me an excuse, whatever, innit? Then man are texting me, oh, we're well, well, sorry about that. We're going to sort it out and that. I said, yeah, whatever, innit? I'm coming down to speak to you. When you look back, oh, we're going to be back at like 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock um, comes. Oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be back in 30 minutes, whatever. And I, st I went down there. I was in my yard, chilling. Had to go down there to have a word with them. Had to make them know this is something serious. Man even put it in the text. This is serious. Yeah, some people might see that and say, oh, it's a little minor thing, and they were just smoking in the in the bathroom and that, and there was a little bit of ash behind that could easily be cleaned up. They're violating the rules. Whether it's them or their friend, they're violating the rules of the flat. They're violating the rules of the contract, innit? I'm going to blow it out of proportion and make it into a big thing. Like, even before I left, the camera stopped recording, and I said to them, the next time I come to the flat and I see cigarette smoke or ash or whatever in the flat, you lot are gone. Man, not playing no fucking games, blood. Not playing no games, man. Oh, yeah, fuck. The recording stopped as well when I said this to them. You know me. Man's not PC. Man don't run no filters. Everything's uncensored, isn't it? Standing up in the kitchen with them. I said to them, you don't need to be careful. So these men are from India. One's 21, one's 27. They're studying at the uni around the corner. I said, you don't need to be careful. You lot have come from India and... You lot are going to be renting rooms from landlords and that. You need to be careful that you don't spoil the reputation for Indian foreign exchange students. If a landlord has come across Indian foreign exchange students for the first time and you lot have come over and you lot have damaged the house or you're not following rules and that, you lot might spoil it for other Indian foreign exchange students. I gave him an example. Black people, unfortunately, we have a bad reputation. It's not the majority of black people that are bad. It's a small minority, but the minority spoil it for the majority. So be careful. If you lot go on a certain way and you lot don't follow rules or you lot violate rules, people ain't going to want to deal with people from India that are foreign exchange students because they're going to think the rest of them are all like that. I had a bad experience with these two guys. Forget about the rest of them. This is business. Man ain't got time to be taking feelings and all of this nonsense into account. Man, I'm just going to reject people based upon where they're from because they had a bad experience with the past people that came in. So, yeah, my man had to go down there and just let them know on it. It's not on it. Some people, they were, oh, just leave it. It's a minor or whatever. Nah, fam, it's not a minor, fam. It's not a minor. You know, it's a minor now, but it'll turn into something major, innit? So, yeah, man, I have to put the foot down from, from the beginning. Nip it in the bud, as they call it, innit? So, yeah, man. Like I said, like I say in my videos before and it talking about being a landlord and that if you're afraid to stick it on the tenants and that they're gonna walk all over you. They're gonna walk all over you, innit? And as a landlord, you have to be respected. They can't fuck about with you, innit? End of story. Man see man see, you know like that rogue landlords, nightmare tenants, nonsense and that. I'm seeing landlords turn up to the property and the tenants are telling the landlord to fuck off, blah. Fam, you think... <laughs> anyway, stay all has done, no.